Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our weekly Java tutorials. Uh, starting from this week, we will start introducing uh, classes and objects. I'm very excited. I hope you are too, because uh, object-oriented programming is a is a very powerful way uh, for you to actually uh, map uh, real-world entities into your programming artifacts and. Uh, the stuff that we have done so far before the reading week about procedural programming in Java is, is really to build the foundation for uh, object-oriented programming. So you didn't waste any efforts. Uh, please understand that. Later on, we're going to see uh, the heart to object-oriented programming is to build methods and also to build objects. And inside every method, guess what? You have to program lines of code, and those lines of code will be uh, based on what you learned before the reading week about if conditionals, elementary programming, and also loops. And later on, we'll also introduce about two-dimensional arrays and nested loops. So everything will actually be connected together. So uh, just enjoy uh, for the uh, for the coming about six or seven uh, more uh, weekly tutorial videos uh, uh, for the rest of the semester. All right, so as usual, I would like to point out some additional references uh, for you to do uh, some extra study if you wish. Let me uh, refer back to uh, my uh, tutorial videos from winter 19 over here. Okay, you can see uh, before the reading week, I recommend it up to video 33. Okay, so that's all about the uh, loops. And hopefully, uh, for those of you who actually decided to look at those, hopefully you gain uh, some insights about uh, writing loops. Starting from uh, this week uh, until the end of the semester, I would say you can plan your time to uh, watch all the way to uh, 46. But I would, uh, I would, I would say uh, just to start with, you may just want to start with maybe uh, from video 34 to video 38. Uh, so that uh, so these uh, five videos will actually uh, show to you the introduction to uh, object orientation. And for video 39, it's about how to run labs and lab tests. For that video, you don't need to worry about. That's uh, kind of specific to uh, for your fellow students back in winter 19. All right, so that's the extra exercise. If you wish to do, uh, feel free. All right, so let's now set up the uh, projects for this week. All right, so it's going to be week number six. Okay, so right click on the uh, package explorer and then you can say new and Java projects. All right, and then I'm going to say week underscore uh, 06. Okay, so we're just about halfway through for the course. And then you can say finish and just make sure you you say don't create the module dash info uh, Java, right? Remember, you don't want to get yourself into trouble with uh, the packaging issue later. Okay, don't create. All right, so we got our week number six and uh, under the source, we're still going to uh, keep the same uh, package structure with the model, uh, console application and JUnit tests, uh, even though we are trying, uh, trying to build multiple classes inside the model package. So one thing at a time. For now, I'm just going to set up the uh, package. So let's say new and then package and model. And then we're gonna have another package here and then call that uh, JUnit tests. J unit tests. And one more, we're gonna have console apps. Okay, so everything is just uh, as you have done uh, since forever, all right? So these are the three classes, uh, sorry. So these are the three packages we're gonna focus on. And we're going to start creating our class. So the class we're gonna create now would be a very different nature of uh, uh, compared with uh, the utilities class that we created previously. I will explain that bits by bits, so don't worry. Okay. However, before I begin, I would like to show to you some website which you can feel free to check out. Okay. So the example which I'm going to start building uh, starting from this week for the coming uh, two to three weeks will be uh, some uh, fitness club. So Mayfair Clubs is just one example. You don't need to really stick to Mayfair Club. So I would encourage you to really Google around to see uh, what kind of fitness club uh, there are out there. Maybe uh, uh, I think there's another one called California or maybe another one called Daily uh, Fitness or whatever, right? So Mayfair Club is just one of them. So you can 
take a look at what kind of features uh, they actually support on their website. And for example, you can register for fitness classes, for spinning class, for group power, and also you can register for your personal trainer. And also to register as a member, you, you're, you're, you ought to have uh, your membership ID and also your name. And also maybe you can also uh, register your, your measure for your weight and heights. So your personal trainer can keep track of your, uh, your health uh, index, you know, things like that. So I'm going to create a simplified version of the Mayfair clubs. And of course, they share many common uh, commonality with other fitness clubs as well. I'm not gonna I'm not going to cover all the features. It's not uh, possible given the two hours uh, limits for every week. But I will encourage you. So while we do uh, we are building this uh, simplified version of the fitness club, you can feel free to add more attributes, add more methods, or even add uh, add more classes to really extend it to the extent that maybe you can really turn that into a real app uh, beyond this course. All right, that's kind of a uh, uh, the extra uh, activities I would encourage you to do. All right, so you can see the website. It's uh, www.mayfairclubs.com, uh, right? It's, it's just one example uh, for you to really see what's really there for you to really do object-oriented programming. Think about the essence about object-oriented programming is really for you to capture the attributes for different kinds of entities. For example, club, and also trainer, and also member, and also facility, right? So these are just different concepts, different entity types. And then within each entity, you can put different attributes and also methods, right? That's kind of the idea for object orientation. So at the beginning, you might find it uh, kind of difficult to really grasp and put everything together. But once you get the idea, which I'll try my best to really help you, and it's a very powerful design idea to really uh, model or to really uh, simulate uh, real world uh, interactions between entities, right? That's something we'll see uh, throughout uh, the, the, the rest of the week, uh, throughout the rest of the uh, also semester as well. All right, let me go back here and then let me now create the first class Specifically, let's create a class that will correspond to a member in the club. Okay, so right click on the model and then say new and then class over here. Okay, let's type a name and let's call it a member. Or if you want to call it a club member, uh, you can make it as well. Okay, just let me show you. You can also say club member. Remember the naming convention for Java class, it has to be capitalized uh, compound words and then every word has to be capitalized. Okay. And let me just call it member just for short. And then make sure you don't really choose the main method. So every class under the model package should not have any main method. And uh, the fundamental difference between member and also the utilities that we have been doing in the past few weeks before the reading week. The fundamental difference is in the member class or in many other classes that we're going to create for the fitness club uh, application. Each one of them is going to have attributes uh, like a class le uh, like a class level variables, and also they're going to have methods. But the methods is not going to be static anymore. So if you remember, I mentioned very briefly uh, uh, in the very first week uh, week's tutorial, whenever you declare a method as static, so that means you can call the method without creating a new objects. And now when we actually define methods without a static keyword. In that case, you will have to create uh, a new object, right? That's something we, we said we would do. And now it will, it will be the time just to connect what we actually have said before. All right, let's say finish. So this will be uh, our new, uh, our own, our class to focus on, uh, focus on for to, uh, this week. Okay, it's called member. All right, let's now see, uh, let's now try building uh, this particular class.